everybody, welcome back to the Adonis Cosplay channel. I am Dylan, and today we're going to be continuing our cosplay build for Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach, specifically working on the kimono, the shirt part of this costume. Uh, so grab yourself your black fabric. We're going to be doing the same fabric that we used in our uh, Hikama build on one of our previous videos. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, but grab yourself some fabric. I used about two and a half yards is what I kind of budgeted for this project. We will see how much of that we end up using. I think we'll use way less than that, but that's what I have to work with. So get yours and let's get started on making this kimono. After taking all of your measurements, go ahead and write them down. I drew out a little diagram for you guys that we're going to be basing our patterns off of. This is how I'm making it. Uh, and just as a reminder, this is kind of a, a mix of like traditional kimono shirt, plus we're making it accurate for the costume. So keep that in mind. This may not be 100% accurate to how they used to be made, uh, but we're going to make it this way just to try to fit each go the best we can. So you may want to take a screenshot or pause the video. This is what these pieces are going to look like as we cut them out on the fabric. And these are my measurements. Again, I'm six feet tall. You're going to make this shirt really long because it's going to go through the bottom of the, uh, the hakama uh, on the sides there. So it goes down to about thigh length, mid thigh. So keep that in mind as you're making these. And again, these are the measurements for me. It's going to be different for you guys, but this is what we're making right here. Take the measurements that you took, transfer them onto fabric, and then we're going to cut out all of our pieces before we start sewing. All right, let's get started on actually sewing this together. I laid the back piece out flat. This is one of the front panels and uh, we've got our shoulders right here. You're just going to sew both of the top shoulders all the way across from this point to this point on both sides and then we will move on to sewing down the sides after we get our armhole area measured out. Um, I just folded this over so you could tell the difference between the front piece and the back piece, but uh, should be pretty easy, straightforward. And then don't forget to finish all of our seams that we have uh, once you once you get done sewing them. So finish all your seams, sew this side and that side, and then we'll come back. Let's take a look at the sleeves, uh, adding these to the to the shirt portion. It's going to seem kind of out of order, but follow along with this one the best you can. On the angled edge of the sleeve, go ahead and fold those edges back, the, the seam allowance, the half inch on both of them. Stitch that down first, and then we're going to end up attaching this to the shirt. I think it's just going to be easier and cleaner if we have that folded over first uh, and stitched before we actually complete and add the sleeve onto the shirt. So do this on both, and then I'll show you where these go uh, once we put those on the shirt and we're ready to actually like install the sleeve and make it one complete unit. All right, we've tacked these down. Hopefully you know this, but in case you don't, make sure that these are folded uh, the same direction on both sides. You want the raw edge both on the same side of the uh, the sleeve or you're gonna end up having a bad time here. All right, so next we're gonna attach the sleeve here. Uh, go ahead and put the angled portions against the side. Uh, we're going to basically lay, this is the, the back piece. We've laid it out so that this is the shoulder, nice and flat, and this is the outside, so like the correct side. You're gonna lay the correct side of the sleeve, line up these top two, I marked the middle, and that middle point is going to sit right on the seam of the shoulder. This is the back, this is the front. I'm gonna do this for both sides. 
lay that down there and then you're going to stitch from one end of the, uh, the angle here all the way to the other end here. Once the sleeve is attached here, you can go ahead and sew the bottom of the sleeve across this way, as well as the side of the shirt here, but you're only going to sew up until the bottom of this. So you can see I marked it right here. That's where I'm gonna stop. We're gonna have this open armpit area, uh, and then we're just going to basically finish our seam right here and go all the way down the side of the shirt. That will essentially make a full complete shirt once you do that on this side and the other side and then we'll be ready to add the details and finishes. In order to finish off these armpits, we're gonna go ahead and fold uh, this little bit back. This is the, uh, the shirt portion, this is the sleeve. This little part right here, fold this back, and you're just gonna do a top stitch um, on, this, on this side and then on this side as well. There may be a better way to do this, but uh, this is how I am doing it. It's in the armpit, I'm not too worried about it. And uh, if you stitch close to the edge, you, you'll hardly ever see it. But go ahead and do that on this side and the other side, and then we'll move on to doing the collar, and this will be almost done. All right, if everything has come together so far, this is how we are looking. Kind of like a Harry Potter gown, almost. Uh, pretty long sleeves, these will be cuffed up when we uh, would do the outside rim here and then your wrap should kind of fit pretty low on the chest. Ichigo has his open down pretty low. More traditionally it would sit higher uh, but we're not doing traditional on this one. We're making this cosplay so that's where we're at. Not bad. We have the uh, underarm holes. Of course I wear a black shirt underneath so it's hard to tell but those are there part of the costume. Next, we're going to be working on adding the collar. So we're going to take our long strip of fabric. I originally had it in two pieces, uh, but I had enough fabric to make it all one piece. That's fine. You could do it either way. Uh, one will just have a seam in the back if you do it in two pieces. But the way that I'm going to show you next is how we're going to fold it up and attach it on the front here. And then the last thing to do uh, to really put it all together is to add our tie. So we'll be able to tie it all into one piece. And then from there, we can add the finishing touches him the sleeves and the bottom, and then I'm going to add the white from underneath as kind of like a faux second layer. You guys can make an entirely new uh, kimono top to wear underneath if you wanted to, but that's a lot of work, and I'm trying to make the cosplay easy and accurate and comfortable, so we're just going to add a false white layer underneath, which you guys will see at uh, towards the end of this video. All right, I'm gonna try to show you guys how we're going to fold this collar. Um, bear with me here, it's pretty dark. My camera is not picking up the black of the fabric super well, so I will do my best. But it is exactly the same as how we folded, or how we will fold the uh, little ties for the kimono. So we're going to take your fabric here, fold it in half, iron down the middle. Open that up, and you'll have a nice crease down the center. And you're going to take each edge, and you're going to fold to the center. Ending up so that each edge is lined up in the middle, iron that. Then you're going to fold one more time in half fully and iron this. This is gonna be our collar. So as you can see, fully folded, we open it up. We have our two halves. You can open it up again, and that's where we're starting here. Obviously do that throughout the entire piece, and then uh, we can start attaching it at the top of our collar on the back of our shirt. Make sure you mark the middle of this, because that's where we're going to line everything up once we start sewing. Once you have your collar, ready to go and marked for the back of the shirt and the collar here. You're basically going to sandwich the collar on top of the shirt. So you open it up, put this part inside, and then we're going to stitch all the way across the bottom of the collar from the back of the collar down to the front on both sides. And I would start here and sew that way and that way as opposed to doing one long strip just in case it's a long piece of fabric. You don't want it to move while you're sewing uh, and then kind of be off. but but we will get this attached next uh, and then go from there. Side note, if you are doing this to make Ichigo's cosplay and you're doing the like faux undershirt, which is what I'm doing, we're making a second collar right here exactly the same way as we made this one. It's just a half inch longer on the edge here and I'm going to tack this on to the back of it after I have this sandwiched over. So sandwich here and then put the white underneath and then you can sew across and you will have this fake white collar poking up 
throughout the entire thing. That way you don't have to make an entire second shirt. Or you can make the second thing, I don't care, however you want to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it, uh, just to get that consistent look. Because if you have a second shirt on, I have seen that that second collar kind of falls underneath the first one. This way it will always be in place, it will always show. I think it just looks better to be consistent throughout the whole thing. So I'm gonna do that with the collar as well as the sleeves, which you will see in a second. And then we're going to do that in the armpit area too. And we should pretty much be done with this whole thing. As a quick side note, I am stopping the stitching of the white on the left side of the shirt here. And I'll show you a zoomed out version later, but about a foot from the bottom and you will see why, because we're gonna end up tucking this behind the other piece of white to make it look like it is an undershirt rather than just a double layered collar crossing over. I don't know if that makes sense right now, but you will see what I mean uh, once this is stitched on and I try it on. I'm just marking this right here, and I'm gonna stitch all the way up to here with both, then remove the white from behind, and keep stitching the black down uh, right there to finish it off. I'll show you the end result. With regards to finishing off the sleeves here, you're going to uh, do a couple of folds and measures and then we will uh, stitch these in. So take about two inches, fold that sleeve underneath all the way around. You're gonna go another two inches and you're going to fold it one more time. And then that is where we're going to basically stitch that two inch line all the way around. Now if you're doing a regular black kimono, you can stop there. If you're doing the Ichigo kimono, we made an extra essentially sleeve the same way that we made the collar uh, we just made it another bit of white fabric, the same width as uh, our our sleeve hole here. You're going to stitch these two together so you have a loop. Tuck that loop inside, and then you'll stitch all of this together at one time, leaving about half an inch out. So you'll stitch around all the way like this, and the collar will end up looking nice and sharp with that little white edge right there and a stitch line two inches down. To hem the bottom edge, we're going to double fold it just like the sleeves and then stitch right along this edge. In order to make the ties for the uh, the shirt here, we're going to take your 12 inch strips, you're going to fold down about half an inch on each edge, and then you're going to triple fold these. So we fold the outside edge to the middle, the other outside edge to the middle, and then you fold that in half. And you're going to do that all the way throughout your whole piece to end up making these ties here. So they should look just like this when they're done. Edges are nice and tucked in. And then I just clipped them down here. I did all three of these already. Um, I iron these, I'd recommend ironing these flat just to make it stay a little bit better as you're holding it. Then you're going to sew across the open edge here right along the bottom. All right, this is where we are at currently. Uh, the costume is almost done. The kimono is almost finished up. So take a look, here's where we are. This is what I was describing earlier where we left this part undone. Now we're going to be adding the ties, and to do so, when we do that, we're going to have this cross over, and you see how the white looks like it's underneath the black. And the way we do that is by laying this down first, crossing our right side and our left over the top. Now it looks like we're wearing two layers. Okay, to add the ties, you're going to be right at kind of mid-waist, about belly button level. First tie is going to be stitched onto the inside of the left uh, left side jacket here, and then the second tie that it's going to go to is going to be stitched right on the outside of the uh, right seam. Now, if you planned ahead and you wanted to do this extremely clean, you could have had this be in between these two panels. I didn't, so we're just going to tack it on the outside. It's covered by the hakama anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. These will be here, and those will tie together the exact same spot on the other I guess lapel here, you're going to tack this one, and then the final tie will go on the inside, same spot on that seam right here, and those two will tie together. After that, we're finished with this kimono.
That's it, we are finished. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, uh, hopefully this kimono top turned out excellent for you. I really like how it looks. It completes the cosplay, and if you're using it for something else, even better. Comment down below how yours turned out. If you have any other tips or tricks, please let me and everyone else know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this if you guys found it useful. We will see you next time. This is a good camera. Why are you sucking?